I travelled a lot when I was younger, been everywhere around the world. Um, and somebody asked me, um, where's, you know, you've been to all these places, where's your favourite place and what would be the dream holiday, like the holiday of lifetime, and what would it be? And I said, so simply. And they said, but you've already been, you've already done it. And so that's the beauty of it. I can have the holiday of a lifetime again and again and again and keep coming back and I that's it for me that's the dream that's the beauty of it um, every time you come back the same people are here it's like a family um, it feels like a second home really um, and then we meet people we stay friends we were here in November together we met in November and we're coming back together again in 2025 you just make friends for life for years, never had a proper lesson and was always taken into very heavy surf. Um, so I have a lot of experience in getting out and surviving, but no experience in catching waves and enjoying them or knowing what to do or how to teach myself. And I've come to Surf Simply. This is my third visit and it's been a really fun journey. I started surfing because of you. <laughs> um, I, I would watch these videos when I was younger, of, like Anastasia Ashley and other surfers. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And then he took me out. I used to, I played soccer for decades and was just kind of getting injured as I was getting older and surfing seemed like a, a really fun thing to try. And once I tried it for the first time, I was totally hooked. It's just so much fun. It, it doesn't feel like a sport. It's like a, a, a journey and it's this thing you get to like challenge yourself and be in nature. And, and um, yeah, I, I, I just started because I thought it sounded fun. But then when I started to realize those things and, and, and just enjoy like getting out, seeing if I can, you know, interact with the wave just a little bit, you know, better uh, each time uh, just kept me coming back. You know, I just fell in love with it years ago, and I'm so cheesy, but it, you know, it just feel, feeds my soul. Paula and I started surfing around the same time, and um, we've been friends for more than 20 years, and we started together and had another thing on top of what we already had that we could bond over, and we've kept it going for the entire 20 plus years. What was your motivation to start surfing? Um, I got bullied into that. Oh, tell me more. It wasn't my decision originally, um, but I was taken out surfing by an ex-boyfriend, um, and then we split up, but I kept the surfing. So yeah, that was it. I also had an ex-boyfriend who was surfing, and I thought it looked pretty cool. And then actually, many, many, many years after, uh, 2015, I was like, oh, let's, let's start this. Tell me about your coach. What was your coach this week and, and what have you been learning with it? Um, and my coach this week was Justin. He was awesome. He was also from Texas like I am. Um, very supportive, very direct in um, what I needed to do. So I felt like... His coaching style got me where I needed to be quicker. Now we're going to go for a stall. So sit the weights back. Think of that back foot. And am I going to, is the nose going to pop up? The nose is going to pop up. Okay. So weight back and straight in the front leg. All the way back, nice and low. There we go. That's a stall. Okay. Today we've got kind of low tide, so it's going to be moving a bit quicker. So probably really be good to work on angle takeoffs. Um, keeping at that high line and focusing on maybe a carve to the beach before um, the wave closes out. Uh, it's looking quite nice. We uh, actually, I did an interesting uh, little observation yesterday. There's a, a reef that you can see breaking out to sea over there and the waves are passing between the headland and the reef. Um, and we've got the main swell coming straight onto the beach and we've got um, some waves passing through that gap and then expanding outwards, a little bit like this diagram here. Um, and what it's doing is, as, as these waves are refracting out through this gap, um, 
the main swell's coming in like this and we're getting this refracted uh, swell crossing across and it's making the waves quite peaky. The waves are, are breaking, small individual peaks that are then peeling quite slowly, uh, A-frames left and right, which is really nice. The walls aren't super long, so it's going to be, it should be really, really good for just taking off, set the rail, get some speed, and then start putting those cutbacks together, which is what quite a lot of the guys this week have been working on is their, their cutback skills. This week I worked with Derek. Um, I pretty much always work with Derek when I come here. Um, and yeah, it's fantastic. I think he's got a lot of patience. Um, which is, you know, needed to work with me. Um, so I want, I really want you to feel what bouncing off that white water can do for you. Gives us speed and helps redirect the board. So let's bring it back all the way to the target. But if we've got a little target out in front of us, don't even worry about cutting back. Just keep your eyes on the prize and go for them. Um, so I had Malin this week for the first time. Um, I stayed two weeks, so Jesse week one, Malin week two, and it was great uh, working with Malin for the first time. Thank you very much. Um, I was joking before because he has so much energy and so much motivation, like everything is possible with Malin. Cut back, cut back, cut back. Nice compression. There's your compression. There's your compression. Good. All that. This is my last wave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so some really cool things. We're definitely on the high line. You are not forgetting to pump off your back foot. It takes you really nice and high right there, mm -hmm. right? Same approach we want to have when we're trying to practice those re-entries and those check turns that we have, right? You've got the arms in the proper spot. You've got the proper timing. You have the speed. You are making contact with the white water. Bring that knee with you. So we were coached by Jessie this week. Um, we requested her because she's awesome. Um, we were working on uh, linking maneuvers, um, generating speed uh, and um, uh, just good decision making on the waves. I've been working on trying to get up and hit the white water and execute maneuvers, um, a lot of body mechanics and um, she breaks it down really nicely so that um, you know you, you can kind of take it step by step and then put all the pieces together. Um, so look how much Jordan is touching the water. Over. Yeah. And you're you know touching the water but you're touching it just here versus out a little further. And what that's gonna do is just put your board a tad bit more on rail mm -hmm. and more on rail engagement means more speed. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you kind of can reach that hand out just a tad further to help with that rail engagement. Gabrielle. Tell me more. I can't say enough good things. Um, just as a person, he's one of the greatest people I've ever met. Just, he's uh, just, uh, a force for good in the universe, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, and uh, as a coach, he, for me, I felt like he was uh, he was able to um, express things in a way that allowed me to imagine them in real time, which is, I think, a very difficult talent to have to articulate what you need to do when you're out there and you pop up and you're trying to figure it out, he broke it down in a way that I could actually do it step by step and I started to get to the point where I felt like I was doing what I was supposed to do. And that was the first time that's ever happened, so that was very exciting. You want to execute the jerk before we get to that flat section. Yeah. But by the time we get to the slow section, there's no steepness and we're just burning all the speed that we're regenerating. Yeah. We want to burn this amount of speed before before we reach the flat yeah, section, like right about far. here, yeah. we can start thinking about and see that we start holding, 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 <laughs> and all that speed is just like running out, okay? So carving turns is about burning the speed that you generate through your takeoff, which is amazing. The takeoff, you always stay through the highland with a great stance about here. Oh, now, thank you. Really good, and now I'm just asking you that active surfing, active surfing. I'll do it. Absolutely. <laughs> You're coming here to really push your skills further. Um, so you want to risk, you want to waste some waves, you want to repeat, and that's why it's so awesome. Um, so I really see it here as a, a playground, a training ground, um, and you really immerse in this week. It's, it's like a boot camp for surfing, I guess. Yeah, and I think... It is a bit of a boot camp, but you can do as much and as little as you want. 
it's really, you know, it's, there's no pressure. I think you forget that you're a guest, but you're part of a family. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Was there any member of staff that made a difference for you? Any, any, anybody you want to mention yeah. that? I mean, Diego was Yeah, I was going to say, Diego is beautiful. crushing it with the cocktails. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> he's so warm and just a wonderful human. So, you know, I think, yeah, his cocktails are amazing. Yeah. Um, and that's, yeah, anything with, with passion fruits, amazing <laughs> to me. <laughs> And Laura stretching. Yeah, I'm going to call out Laura serve stretch. Um, I will also call out uh, Jamie, uh, one of the massage therapists this week. Uh, I came into the week with some shoulder tendonitis, um, and she's like, oh, I know exactly what's going on. I specialize in that. I work with a lot of surfers. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, and it was just incredibly helpful. Like, I may not have even made it through the week uh, without her like knowing how to, to take care of me so uh, big big thanks to her the food is incredible so one of the it, it's gourmet food right it's not you can't understand it unless you've been to surf simply it is gourmet food it's borderline michelin star this is the standard of the food at surf probably from two french people huh? right yeah <laughs> you're right it would really be hard to narrow it down because I think it's a convergence of all of those variables, but um, the sincerity of it all, you know, between Gabby being on it and everyone knows your name and it doesn't seem fake, all of it, but I think that the people, the team. I think the, the resort is amazing, right? You walk in here and you honestly, it feels like you're walking to your second home. I mean, I don't have a second home, but if I had one, I think that's what it would feel like. Um, it's the people, right? I've been to so many surf camps before I discovered surf um, And you never get the same staff, you never get the same crew, they're very transient, they never stay. But here, you come back again and again and everybody's here. The chefs are still here. Ronald, the gardener, he's been here for like 14 years, he's just brilliant. Um, and all the coaches, and I don't know why so many businesses don't get it. If you want to make a successful business, it's all about the people. And the people here are very well looked after, which is why they stay. And that makes the whole experience just magical, really. It's really extraordinary cast of characters. <laughs>